Hi everybody! Welcome to Katie Moon Child's World. I'm Katie! Glad to have you here. Lucky what I've got! Just got here! It was just released, whoops, I'm sorry, just released yesterday and I got it today. The One World Tarot by Lena Rodriguez and Sienna Rose Metaphysical with June Refkin and Alexandra um, and Philippek. I remember Sienna saying that. Philippek. They had the launch party last night. It was so much fun. I am so excited for you ladies and I can't wait to see what I got. I know, I know, I know. I've seen you guys using it and several other readers using it and it was like, uh, yeah, gotta have it. And then as soon as I heard it was going to be from Amazon, I was like, that's a no-brainer. Off I went and it got ordered. Let me tell ya. <laughs> so, without ado, let's look at the One World Tarot, you guys. Be very careful, I don't want to scratch this. It's special, you know, when you know the people who have designed the deck. It, it makes doing your review... Oops, I'm sorry. Really personal. Really makes you seasick. <laughs> sorry, I'm being very, very silly. But now that the plastic is off, we can take a look at the box. Oh, beautiful. One World Tarot. Lena Rodriguez, Sienna Rose, and June Rifkin. And then on the back, it's quite a nice explanation here. It includes a 78 card deck, tarot deck, and an illustration, illustrated book. From what I understand, this is a fantastic deck if you are wanting to learn tarot as an absolute beginner. Okay? Now, that is something that's fantastic to know because Dr. Lena Rodriguez teaches tarot, okay? So I'm real excited to get this book, this book. Yeah, all of this. So as you can see, look at this. And I, I brought my camera close. It's a big box, okay? Um, can you find a normal tarot box? normal tarot box. Whoops, hopes if I put it up right side up. This was the oracle that I used. Uh, see? It's big. So that's exciting, okay? Um, I used that deck for, yeah, card of the day. So let's take these out and see what we have here. So cool. Here. Wow, you guys. Put that over there. Look at the book. Okay. No rinky dink little old guidebook with this one. I mean, I'm even getting out a really nice guidebook here. Look at the size difference. Okie dokie. Yeah. Perfect for learning tarot. Oh my goodness. And it goes into great detail. Oh. Okay, let's start at the beginning, Katie. Okay, here's the dedication. The book and tarot deck are dedicated to Morena uh, Tapuni Ray. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I apologize. I'm terrible at that. You are a luminous in life and your legacy lives on in many countries. Everyone who knew you still celebrates your wisdom 
humor, and optimism. And we always remember your mantra. Tonight has the potential for greatness. You were the inspiration for the star card in the One World Tarot. That's neat to know. And here it tells you, pages for the wands, the swords, the cups, and the pentacles. I love it. Preparing to read what you need to do to get ready to read your cards, the different spreads, tips for learning and reading tarot cards, um, and frequently asked questions. Oh, this is great. The introduction is beautiful. There's the introduction, history, and about the deck. The book in the deck. How to use this book along with the deck. Helps if I put the whole thing in the frame. Whatever you choose to learn. Whichever you choose to learn the tarot, you should find enlightenment in the process and most important, have fun. I can tell you Enlightenment is, that's not quite, I, yeah, that's a good word, but it doesn't give the detail about how it feels. The more you practice, the more you use, the more you read for people, the more you feel the connection with the people you're reading for, and what happens with them. So, wow, it doesn't take much to get right into the card. So, let's take a look at the Fool card. In the book. It's about new beginnings, a leap of faith, having faith in the universe, risk, and naivete. Gives you what it means in the reading from a personal point of view or from a world point of view. So if you're doing a very general reading or you're doing a, a reading on a somewhere other country than where you live, and the tip, when you get a major arcana card in a reading, pay attention. It usually means vital energies are at work. The major arcanas set the tone for the minor cards in the spread. So, and then it goes into the magician. This is wonderful. Um, I guess there's about a page and a half on each card. 78 cards, traditional tarot, and it is based off of the Rider Waite. It's just a little more updated, a little more modern. And I'm trying to get back where the spreads and stuff are. There's the cups, there's the pinnacles. Okay. Preparing to read tarot cards, getting into the right state of mind. Oh, is that so important? Wow. Finding the best place to read, shuffling the deck, how to do it, and for how long. This is wonderful. How to select the cards for your spread. What about reversals? Oh, this is wonderful. I'm really, I'm happy. This is great. Tarot card spreads. Here we go. You got the three card spread. There's several of them here that they could pertain for. So you've got past, present, and future, of course. Mind, body, and spirit. Um, you, the other person, and your relationship. Uh, three cards can be used in so many, many ways. Then you got the four card spread. Um, they also talk about what the signifier card is. Here's your five card spread, which I use quite often. I use that a lot. And then, oh, we skip the six card. Oh, it goes from five directly to seven. Now, Wolf Girl Oracle, my friend Dolly, she uses this spread. That's, that's her favorite. Then you have, of course, the good old Celtic cross wonderful tips for learning and reading tarot cards oh am i going to enjoy reading this book 
your first reading, step one, ask a question. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. Practical advice when reading cards. A cheat sheet. Essential keys to reading a tarot spread. Oh my gosh. There are five essential keys to reading the tarot. The image, the high cards, the suits, the numbers, and the positions they land in. Whether they're beside, what they're beside, what they're above, what they're below, what they're before, and what they're after. And then you have your frequently asked questions. And, of course, we have a little bit of a about the authors and the artist. And the artist is Alexandra. Alexandra Philippec. And here is all there. And each section has their information so that you can get in touch with the people that you need to get in touch with. Oh, how... Oh. Look at that book, you guys. There's a lot of information. That's beautiful. It's wonderful. And it's not in incy bancy 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 little print like my cat tarot. The cat tarot book. Ugh. Ugh. It's the word. Oh, it's a good thing I don't use the book because I couldn't. I would have to use a magnifying glass to read that one. So, here's the other part. It's the cards. Look at that nice packaging. It's the back. I love that purple. You know me, girls. You know me, you guys and girls. I'm into purple. So, let's open these. Those scissors are mean, by the way. That point is super, 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 super sharp. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've stabbed myself with those. There we go. Meant to stay wrapped, huh? First of all, quality of the cards. They feel very nice. They slide on each other just even from opening. They're not really, they're sticking a little bit to each other, but it's not bad. I mean, okay, gosh, not like some of them I've seen and done. Um, they have a very, almost a plasticky coating on them. So they will be nice for, they will last a very long time. Looks like they're wipeable. If you hear thunder, we're having a lovely day here. I love it when it rains in the desert. Anyway, it's kind of a horse with no name kind of day. Raining and every once in a while there's thunder that goes ripping across the sky. I was out there getting my Walmart groceries a while ago and uh, yeah, we both hurried. The person that was delivering it got quickly in their car and I carried what I needed to quickly in the house because it was right over the top of the house. I mean, it was really close. It was scary, kind of scary, you know, where you're starting to feel the, the static electricity and the hair on your arms. When you feel that, they say around here, when you feel that static electricity on your arms, you better get inside because that static is what <laughs> brings in the lightning. Okay. And yeah, I don't know if you knew, lightning goes ground up not sky down. Just some little trivia for you. I always throw that in there. I don't know why. Let's look at these deck, these cards. Like I said, they bend, but they keep a little curve, but it's really not bad, and it bends right back. So I like to bend, when I shuffle my cards, I will shuffle them, shuffle them and check them out. I don't want them upside down. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm showing you this for the first time, and every other card is upside down. But, oh, how nice. Coming from the arthritic girl. Oh, yes, you guys. How nice. And they are the same size as a normal, whoop, everyday 
helps if you can like shuffle. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, I'm over here looking at my everyday normal Rider weight cards. Exact same size. So this is great. It will fit in my rack perfectly because I can tell you these cards are going to get used a lot. Yeah. Shuffle very nicely. Very nicely. See how they're starting to, though, cup a little. No problem. That is not a major issue at all. Because the cup one way, some tarot readers kind of feel a little comfort in how their cards cup. You know, um, Celtic Tarot, Sheila, her cards, they're all like this. Um, Lori from, um, and Lori from The Way of Positive Change and Ellie Down Under, um, they both, both of them, because they shuffle sideways, uh, they shuffle like this. I can't shuffle that way. These cards are too narrow for me. I can't do it. I suppose I could do it corner to corner. Yeah. No. No, it's just easier for me to do it this way. But when they start to cup, you just do a couple shuffles with them in the opposite direction of the cupping. And they should be fine. Straighten right back out again. These are nice. I really like how they shuffle. Okay, enough playing around. Let's look at these cards. Now they're all mixed up. So we've got the Ten of Wands. The Hierophant. Hmm. That's neat. The Six of Wands. The Five of Wands. The Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. <laughs> yeah. The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. Isn't that a beautiful card? This is the one where she's in her abundant garden. And she's got, like, too much stuff. And this is the that apprentice. I look at that as the apprentice card. That's the guy that's working, 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 working. The king of swords. The two of swords. Ooh, the crossroads. And the four of swords. Six of cups. Hmm. Cute. I love it. Nine of Wands. This is, you know, being in your own prison. I love this. I love that, too. Did you hear it? And our monsoon is over. It ended on the 30th officially, but this is definitely... Well, this isn't a monsoon storm either. It's nice and cool. It's only like 71 out there. Yeah, and I'm in Tucson, Arizona. It's beautiful. It's been in the 90s and 100s. That's why I'm saying it's wonderful being on only 71. Okay, I know that's not an only to most people. Beautiful cards. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, ladies. I applaud you. Look at this one. Look at the emperor. Hmm. Five of cups. She got her two cups that are still right, upright, and three that are knocked over. And all she can see are the three that are knocked over. And you got the hermit. Oh, look at the tower card. It's gorgeous. 
Page of Pentacles. I love it. Page is a woman. And the Knight of Pentacles. These are great. You're beautiful. I love cards that have vibrant colors. Um, you will find... I think maybe I only have two or three that are in pastels. I think I say that every review. But I love color, y'all. I think in major color. Oh, look at the hangman. Mm. These are gorgeous. Thank you, ladies. The strength card. <laughs> yeah. Subduing the lion. The world. Quite literally. She's just stepping out of the world. Mm. The chariot. The judgment card. People in their coffins. And the empress. And yeah, she's a little pregnant with new ideas and new beginnings. This is wonderful. I love it. And the high priestess. Page of cups. Oh, that's cool. The gondolier. The two of pentacles. The sun card. Isn't that gorgeous? Three cups. Oh. The knight of swords. The magician. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Still has all the elements there without having to have a table standing in front of him. And he still points from the sky to the ground. I love it. This one. Three of wands. Two of swords. <laughs> Look at the full card. It's all the same, even down to the flower. And the doggy. I used to look back to the full card. I used to look at that dog like he's going, uh, wait, careful, careful. You're going to go off. You're going to step off. You're going to step off. Be careful. Be careful. Don't be foolish. And that's before I knew what the card meant. What the dog is saying is, oh, goody, let's go. What's the new thing? Let's do our adventure. Come on, let's dive. Where are we going? Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. We already looked at those. Illusion and delusion card. Ten of cups. <sighs> Three of swords. These are beautiful cards. E these are going to be wonderful. And they make sense for someone who's learning tarot new. Because they follow the Rider Waite. Um, you should start with the Rider weight. If you don't start with the Rider Waite, it can be so confusing. Oh, that's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Ace of Wands. The Lovers. Hmm. Should I draw clothes on them? No way. Justice card. The moon. Yeah, they're howling at the moon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. The devil card. And the star card. Now, this is the card that the book is dedicated to the women, and so is the card. Um... Get her name again so that I can mispronounce it for you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you guys. You need this book. You, I mean, you need the deck. Morena Tapuni Ray.
you were the inspiration for the star card in the One World Tarot. Her mantra was, tonight has the potential for greatness. I love it. I love it. You have the Two of Cups with the Caduceus. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is, these are beautiful. A temperance card. Yeah, there she is with her one foot in the water, one foot on the land. Trying to blend everything. Oh. The Ten of Pentacles. I love the formation of the, how the coins are. Just beautiful artwork. Oh my goodness. I just turned over the last card. The Nine of Cups. Now, Lena Rodriguez, my beautiful lady. You're bound to see this eventually, I'm sure. Um, when I first started watching you, the first card that I remembered that as you were talking about the different tarot cards, and you were talking about the former president, Donald Trump, and this is the Smug Merchant card. I want you to look at that card. I just I just wanted you to look at that card. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful deck. This is wonderful. Oh, you guys, I cannot wait to charge it. We've got a full moon coming up. Perfect time to charge it, although I wasn't going to cleanse it. Um, sleep with it and start using it right away. Um, first thing I'm going to be doing is reading all the tips in the book that go with every card. And looking and really studying the cards. This is a beautiful deck. And this is a long review compared to normal. I realize that. But there's a reason for that. And I thank you. Um, like my um, Tony Shining Hawk Morning Sky, uh, Shamanic Morning Sky Oracle deck. Um, these are special. And they deserved a little bit more detailed time with you all. They are designed and done by friends of mine. And so it's important that I cover them completely. They're beautiful. This deck is gorgeous. I highly recommend it. The price is right. It's easy to get. And you can get it in two days if you want it that quickly. You'll find a link. In the description box below where to find the, these cards and uh, that's all I got to talk to you about today I'm gonna go enjoy the rain um, thank you for joining me today and as the thunders telling you goodbye I love you be kind to one another but most of all be kind to yourself, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.